In the latest round of regulatory overreach, the SEC is trying their best to take complete and utter control of the cryptocurrency space, and they may have their sights set on much more than the cryptocurrency space. Guys, the SEC is charging Do Kwon and Terraform Labs with securities fraud and defrauding investors. Now, first and foremost, this is not an American company. They are not listed on an American stock exchange. They are they do not claim to be securities in the United States or anywhere else in the world, but the SEC is coming after them regardless. But a lot of lawyers, especially Web3 lawyers or lawyers in this digital asset world, are calling this wild. Because if the SEC is successful, it is going to open up what they like to turn what they like to phrase it as a slippery slope that is really going to set this regulatory control, the regulatory overreach of the SEC into overdrive. So let's discuss what it means for the cryptocurrency world, what it means for things like Terra Luna Classic and so on. So if it sounds like something you're interested in, let's get started. Let's get started. What's up, everybody? I'm Clay. I'm here to make 2023 the best year ever. If you haven't clicked that subscribe button, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Join us. Become a bro. We are here every single day, and we are growing our portfolios together. And look, if you're brand new to investing, you don't know how or where to buy stocks and crypto, you got a link in the description below for Weeble. It is super simple to set up your account. Any deposit, you guys are getting at least six free stocks, up to 12 free stocks, and $1 crypto trade is going to get you $5 in free crypto. If you guys want crypto exclusive exchanges where you can buy, sell, trade, short, leverage, all that good stuff, you get KuCoin and Binance down there. Now, KuCoin and Binance, they offer rewards for the more active traders. So the more you trade, the more you're going to earn. But please be aware, if you're holding on those exchanges, it's considered a loan to those exchanges. If you want it to be your assets, you got to hold it on a cold storage or a DeFi wallet. Guys, I'm going to jump into this article here talking about what the SEC is doing and what they're claiming is a security. Because what they're claiming is a security is the actual problem here. And this is what's going to allow the SEC to have their, po- have their hands in your pocket, literally. Touching your dollar bills, if they so choose. Now, Terraform Labs and its founders, Do Kwan, are in the sights of the United States Securities and Exchange Commission, the SEC, which has sparked various reactions from lawyers within the cryptocurrency community. And of course, there are various reactions, because no two lawyers can agree on anything. They're just built to debate, and they're built to argue. So of course, it's going to have various reactions, but some of which I agree with, right? On February 16th, the SEC accused and charged Do Kwan and Terraform Labs for allegedly selling a suite of cryptocurrency or of crypto asset securities. Sorry, while community members are not defending Do Kwan for his actions, they are questioning the manner in which the SEC is going after Terra and its founder. Now, questioning the manner is regardless of Do Kwan's innocence or not. And regardless of whether Terra Luna Classic or Luna were were securities or not, the way that they are claiming the the Do Kwan and Terraform Labs are, are are I guess uh, I guess accused of being defrauding investors. This is what's going to lead to a huge just Pandora's box being opened if they are successful. Web3 lawyer Mike Selig posted his thoughts on the issue on Twitter. According to Selig, the SEC characterizes the algorithmic stable coin TerraUSD or USTC as a security because it could be exchanged for Terra Luna, now known as Terra Luna Classic, which is also a security, according to the SEC. Selig explained that under this theory, nearly anything can be considered a security. So just to break this down a little bit, what the SEC is claiming here is that you, okay, you couldn't make profit. You, you, the, the USTC, the stable coin, does not pass the Howey test. You could not make a, a profit in and of itself just investing in USTC. But the fact that you could trade USTC for Terra Luna Classic gives you the option to then make a profit. And because they're trying to claim that Terra Luna Classic was a security or is a security, this is the problem. This is where where it lies. You know, first of all, they have to determine that Terra Luna Classic is a security. They're claiming that it is. And if Terra Luna Classic is considered a security, uh, you better believe they're going to consider any and every cryptocurrency a security from this point forward. So knowing that Terra Luna Classic is is a security, the fact that you could change your dollar, your stable coin dollar, 
for a security makes your dollar a security. Think about it. No different than the fact that I can take a dollar out of my pocket right now and I can buy a stock on the U.S. stock market. The fact that I can buy a security with my dollar would make my dollar a security. Therefore, regulated by the SEC. I could, uh, this lava lamp, I could take this lava lamp and technically, if someone was willing to accept lava lamps, I could trade it directly for a security. If not, watch this. This is just one more step added. I sell the lava lamp. I take the dollar that I get for the lava lamp. And I trade that for a security. Now, all of a sudden, I could trade my lava lamp in two steps for a security. Therefore, my lava lamp is a security governed and regulated by the SEC here in the United States. <laughs> one step further, if you wish. Let's just say this lava lamp was set up in a completely ne a different country. Who cares? So was Terraform Labs. So was Do Kwan. The SEC's reach will be limited by none. Any and everything on this earth and probably off of this earth is theoretically under this decision, under the control and under the rule of the United States Securities and Exchange Commission. The SEC, the all-powerful governing authority to determine not only what you do and, and with your money, but any and everything in your life. That's why he considers it wild. So we got another Mike, the General Counsel for Alliance Dow, also commented on the topic. Or according to this Mike, SEC Chairperson Gary Gensler may want complete discretion in applying securities laws to any transaction. This shows his tweet. Justin, a, a partner at the law firm at Wikifar and whatever, likened the SEC's dis uh, description of the USTC to generate returns on another protocol to depositing fiat in the bank. The lawyer also questioned whether there is another non-security currency that does not behave like that. In the end, Browder described the SEC's actions as wild. If they are successful... In determining, and if a judge is so delusional to determine that a stable coin is a security, simply based on the fact that it can be traded for a security, a security which hasn't even been determined to be a security yet, in Terra Classic, by the way. So a lot of decisions have to be made, and a lot of delusion has to be let loose in order for this to take place. But if it is true, the dollar in your pocket, the asset on your table, Anything and everything you own is going to be considered a security, regulated, controlled, and owned by the SEC. Whether you live in the United States or not, they do not care. They want complete and utter control. I want to know what you guys think about this decision down in the comments below. Do you think they're delusional? Do you think they've lost it? Or do you think they're coming for anything and everything? If that button right there is still red, make sure to click it, subscribe to the channel, join us, become a bro. We are here every single day, and we are growing our portfolios together. You guys got Claybro 883 everywhere. You're getting 6 to 12 free stocks on Weeble, KuCoin, and Binance, free Discord. And until the next time, hope to each and every one of you have an awesome day.